Hey everyone, welcome back to the action from Judo Highlights. We're looking at uh, Hashimoto now. We've got the bronze medal for World Championships 2021. And I've said this before, Hashimoto can be the most exciting fighter or the most boring fighter. And for the most part, I think his fights today, they're pretty exciting. Uh, a couple of really interesting throws, a couple of angles, different angles for you guys. And uh, he had a really weird uh, quarterfinal against Masius and we're going to have a look at that as well but uh, look at this one hand one handed Sodesuri Komigoshi that he does uh, it's just you know it's his technique he's the only one who does it he's the only one who scores with it uh, here's another angle I mean he's, he's got two hands here but um, it's quite incredible really so in his first matchup against the Turkish judoka gets a wazari with his one handed Sode and then a nice little counter here so showing his dominance as the number one seed and everything was looking pretty good for Hashimoto in the beginning. Right, the next round now and he meets Stump and Stump, he almost took it from Hashimoto. Um, both of them went to uh, double Shiro but Hashimoto got there first. And sorry about the, the laggy footage guys, just the videos uh, from this day for whatever reason kind of laggy I don't know why um, hopefully for 81 and on the videos are fine uh, but all the good stuff it's, it's pretty good quality anyway uh, that was a nice kochi by Hashimoto uh, no score though they went to the video and pulling down on the sleeve now looking for his lapel hand going in for that lovely technique that he likes to do But I do think Hashimoto, he, he could have focused more on other techniques. He, he's got this one technique which is kind of rare. It's almost like a sacrifice throw. You want to you bring it out when things aren't going your way, but not make it your main weapon. And I think this grip that he does with his uh, sleeve hand, he kind of tucks it into his elbow. Uh, if you're ever uh, doing judo next time, Give it a try. Uh, here he gets a shido for holding onto the pants. And so into Golden Score, he's two shidos up, and it looked like he was going to uh, lose this one. Stump was putting it on him, but then uh, Hashimoto just comes out with this beautiful Seri Otoshi. There it is here. Oh. One of the best Ippons in the day, really. And if I was Hashimoto, I'd be doing more of this and less of that one-handed technique. But that's his choice. I don't know why. Um, I'm not him. He's number one in the world, so we'll let him do his thing. But yeah, just a really beautiful technique. Someone's going to say it's a tail toshi, but uh, it's not. It's not. And in the next round, so this is against Masius, and this was a really weird fight. I'm going to skip most of the, I'm going to say, boring gripping exchanges until Golden Score. It wasn't until Golden Score when things got quite interesting. So Masius up two Shidos, Hashimoto on one. It was looking good for Hashimoto. Uh, in the beginning, but he just couldn't throw Masius. And then this is in golden score. Sumigaishi for Masius. And to me, that looks like a score. And so they go to the video. It's not. No, no idea why. Even Hashimoto was smiling about it. And then Hashimoto was like, hey, he dropped down. He's on a second Shido, that should be enough. I did think Masius was going to get a penalty there, but no. And then he does Sumigashi again. And this time he gets it. So, crazy, crazy fight. Crazy, crazy fight. And I just realized we've gone out of order. Uh, this fight against the Spanish judoka was before uh, Masius. And this fight, pretty boring. 
uh, just a, a lot of gripping exchanges. Hashimoto picks up the first one. No real techniques to be seen. But yeah, I don't know what it is. Hashimoto, sometimes he just decides, I'm going to win with grips. I'm just going to push him outside. I'm going to dominate the gripping, make them drop down. And that's how I'm going to win. He, maybe it's the style of opponent. Maybe it's when he faces uh, right versus left or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, so loses to Masias, goes into the Ripper Charge, faces Heidorov for the bronze. And that's a definite Shido. Heidorov looking for the Neowaza. And he was really putting it on Hashimoto. He's a really passionate fighter from Azerbaijan. Uh, can get a little bit too emotional at times, but hey, it's Heidorov. Why not? Hashimoto doing his thing, trying to get a Shido, and there you go, he gets a Shido, so, I mean, you, you got to play the sport like how it's been designed, I guess. So Heidorov now, big hand over the grip, Hashimoto breaks it off, and then a definite drop, a Shido there. And it's a really, really nice Ippon by Hashimoto at the end of this. Got quite a few different angles for you guys. Uh, Hedorov, he was kind of dominating uh, the gripping. And uh, Hashimoto uh, just takes advantage of it. Complete opportune, uh, really great kind of grip. I guess he's kind of looking for it here, actually. He's kind of, as Hedorov's got that hand over the top, he's trying to find the sleeve. So here it is here. Heidorov's going to get his top grip over the head, and then Hashimoto's looking for it. Oh, Soto Otoshi. Beautiful Ippon. Here's some better angles, guys, and some footage that isn't laggy. So grabs the sleeve, steps the leg out, drops down. Beautiful Ippon. He did so well to uh, grab that sleeve. Um, but yeah, to be honest, uh, lots of people do grab the sleeve like that here in Japan. They like to stay upright even when people go over the top. They can't have the hand crossed over the top like that for long. So they're either, either going to get shidoed or, or attack. But if you're kind of waiting for it, you can just look for the sleeve in the meantime. Which is what Hashimoto did here. Got the sleeve. And dropped in for an attack. Beautiful Ippon. Alright guys, I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.